plastic as a material is actually amazing. It can be flexible, it can be see-through, it can be coloured, you can mould it into different shapes. The issue with plastic is not the plastic itself, it's the mismanagement of this material. These are items that are designed to last for up to a thousand years and we use them for a few seconds. My name is Ellie Mackay. I'm the CEO and founder of Ellipsis Earth. We use computer software to map litter. The ocean is unfortunately the, the garbage patch for the rest of the world. 99% of all the plastic that we know enters the ocean goes missing. And that to me is an incredible statistic that actually triggered me forming Ellipsis because I couldn't understand how we can solve the problem if we don't even know where to look. Drones are a game changer. They allow us to survey an entire stretch of coastline in a few minutes. So just this morning, we've been able to survey several miles of this UK coastline, and our software has already identified over 800 different items of trash, the majority of those being plastic trash. One of the places that we went to where this problem really hit home for me was the Galapagos Archipelago, which is a collection of islands off the coast of Ecuador. There are coastlines there that have not changed since Darwin set foot on those beaches all those years ago. The only difference is you are never more than 43 centimetres away from a piece of trash. While it was really depressing to come back with data that showed thousands and thousands um, of, of trash items, we were able to turn that into something hopeful because that data could be used as evidence for the need to come up with a solution. And it meant that we were able to discuss with policymakers along the South American coastline to commit to reduce the river plastic pollution in their countries. Since we did the baseline survey, they have introduced a ban on takeaway containers across all of the islands, as well as plastic bags. And they're looking at introducing, potentially, a plastics tax as well. So when we talk about plastic pollution, quite often we hear this word microplastics, which is referring to plastic particles that are less than five millimetres in size. And they're very dangerous because they get everywhere and they're easy to ingest for wildlife. What we're focusing on is tracking, mapping and capturing macroplastics because they will eventually break down into microplastics. So if you collect one plastic bottle, that's 25,000 microplastics potential pieces in the future. It's about getting our trash statistics down far enough that they can become manageable by local communities. Making sure that we contain, we reuse and we recycle as much of our trash as possible. And the data that we're collecting is giving us the power, it's giving us the information that we need to 